You know what I'm doing? Uh, no. The sock hop. Look. Those are pretty fancy socks. Oh, they're warm thermal socks for this Canada weather. Okay. Please uh, don't ever do that. <laughs> Alright, the friends, in this video, I'm going to share with you eight foods that I've been eating every day to burn fat and to lose 10 pounds in six weeks. So, the friends, my goal this year in 2022 was to get in the best shape that I possibly could. So, January 1st, I started uh, two changes to my diet. One, I went from eating 1900 calories a day to 1800 to try to eat in a calorie deficit to lose some weight and I added these eight fat burning foods that I'm going to share with you to my diet every single day. On January the 1st, I weighed in at 151 pounds. Six weeks later, it was Saturday, February 12th, I weighed myself and I was 141 pounds. So not only did I lose 10 pounds in six weeks, I burned actually, or I lost a lot of fat, and my stomach too is the flattest and leanest it has ever been. I have never had a stomach this lean or flat, and I've never weighed 141 pounds ever. I've never been this low of a weight. So I'm gonna share these foods with you in case they help you get results too. The first one, is Greek yogurt. Um, before I was following a lower fat diet and I was starting to crave higher fat foods so I decided to go with the 2% Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt's amazing because it is full of protein and it is low calorie so you can eat a lot of it and feel full. And another great thing about protein is it lowers your hunger hormone, ghrelin. So it makes you feel fuller longer. And Greek yogurt is like 100 calories, 130 calories for three quarters of a cup. So you need a ton and feel really full and it's really versatile. It's a great way, especially if you're someone who's looking for meat-free ways to add more protein, this is a good source as well. My second one, now this is you're probably gonna look at it and go, what? I can't believe it. Cheese is a fat burning food. This is regular medium cheddar. As again, I was eating fat free cheese and I decided I needed a little more fat. As long as you portion things out and you're eating less, you can lose weight and it can help you burn fat. So regular cheese, I've been measuring a couple ounces out a day. What's amazing about this is it contains a lot of calcium and it's high in protein. So the protein's gonna make you feel full longer and the fat in the cheese combined with the protein will make you even more satisfied and fuller longer. Also, I just learned this recently when I started eating cheese. If you get a certain amount of calcium, which cheese contains, if you meet your daily calcium intake, it can cause a slight increase in thermogenesis which is the process that your body uses to generate heat and how it generates heat in that process is by burning calories so amazing food right here and uh we learned a lesson of just listening to our body so in the new year everything in our body was telling us we need more fat and mm. it's why the the full fat cheese is a fat burning food for us is because it's so satisfying when you've been eating the fat free or low fat versions for so long. Yeah, what's cool about the higher fat ones like the regular Greek yogurt and stuff is a little goes a long way. So you don't need a ton because it's so satiating, which is great. The next one is lean protein. Like I've already talked about protein and how it can, you know, help with your hunger. Also, um, if you eat the lean kind, it's low in calories, so you can eat a lot of it, and that helps you feel fuller and more satisfied when you're eating in a calorie deficit, because it's normal to feel hungry. So you can eat three slices of this lean ham, Black Forest ham, for 50 calories. So you can eat a ton of that and feel really full, and right now we're eating lean ground beef as our second protein, and um, 
a cool tip is we buy the lean instead of the extra lean because it's cheaper at the store. And when we cook it, Kyle does this thing where he makes it extra lean. Yeah, it's magic. I put really, after it's cooked, I put really hot water on it. Almost boiling actually out of the tap. And uh, you'll see even more fat come off of it. So yeah, like Nicole said, Ex make it extra lean yourself and save some bucks. Yep, save money. And they're both super versatile proteins. We use them, we cook this up and use it throughout the week. So it's really helpful to have already made. The next thing, berries. We buy them frozen because they are more cost effective that way. They last way longer. But berries are amazing. They're full of nutrients. They're low calorie, so you can eat a ton of them for very few calories, you can eat like um, a cup of strawberries for 50 calories. And they're full of fiber, so they're gonna help you stay full longer as well. And all of these foods are extremely versatile too, which helps you when you're eating in a calorie deficit to lose weight, you can spice these things up and make them taste better. And like Nicole was saying, like we do a variety now where before we were doing mostly low fat, we did still have some healthy fats, but now we like the mix of the very low calorie dense foods, like 50 calories for a whole cup of strawberries and high calorie dense full fat cheese. Yeah, it's a really cool mix that's allowing us to eat quite a bit on less calories while we're trying to meet our fitness goals and feel full. And the next one is amazing. This is cottage cheese and this is the 1%. We only buy the 1% because Great Value doesn't have a 2% and it's really expensive in Canada for 2%. So um, in the regular like name brand. So this is 1% cottage cheese. This is an amazing protein. It's a casein, there is casein protein in it which is slow digesting. So again, it's gonna really keep you full. And we pair this with another food I'm gonna show you and it, it even makes you feel fuller even longer because it, of that. It's one of our, our secret hacks that we've been doing since the very beginning of our weight loss journey. And again, half a cup of this is, uh, is like 90 to 100 calories depending on the brand you get. So you need a ton of this for very few calories and feel full and it's got a ton of really good slow digesting protein in it. The next food, La uh, regular old eggs. This is not only a complete food with like tons of nutrients in it, it also contains biotin, which is really good for your hair and nails. And which is and why we added more cholesterol, more fat to our diet, because we were noticing, especially in the Canadian winter, mm -hmm. dry skin, dry nails, dry yes. hair. And when we looked it up, we needed more fats. So I've been eating two eggs a day. Oh my gosh, full protein, amazing source of protein, low calories, it's only 70 calories for an egg, and the yolk is an amazing source of really good fat. Combining fat and protein really helps things last longer in your system. I eat a couple of eggs with some toast, a little bit of butter and one slice of bacon in the morning and I feel full for hours because it's a good combination, like Kyle said, of lower calorie or lean things with regular fat things. We've always, we've always preached balance to you guys and me and Nicole over the last you know seven, eight years have been learning more and more balance. So we learn along with you guys and change up our diet and when we do, we share it with you. Exactly. The next one is what I was talking about with the cottage cheese is peanut butter. Regular old peanut butter, actually for one tablespoon, has three grams of protein, which is really a good amount of protein for a tablespoon, and it has fat in it, which is going to help keep you satiated and keep you fuller longer. When you combine it with a slow digesting protein, this is our bedtime snack, it has been for years, it really helps you stay full. And also because we wanna hold on to our lean muscle mass, especially when you're losing weight, you will lose lean muscle mass if you're not um, eating you know, good protein and stuff. This is the perfect snack for that. It feeds our muscles all night long, keeps us full, and it's satisfying. Because when you're not eating, you're losing you know, body tissue. So we wanna be as full as long as possible while we're sleeping. Exactly, and we wanna hold on to that muscle because you, you lose everything when you lose weight. You wanna hold the muscle. Lose and the fat and hold the muscle. Yes, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Last one, protein powder. 
This protein powder, this is the one that Kyle and I use. It's Greg Doucette's. It's harder than last time. It's huddled. Huddled. I call it huddled. <laughs> I don't, sorry Greg, but it's huddled. <laughs> um, so there's a vegan one and there's a regular whey protein one. What is amazing about protein powder is that is a beautiful low calorie way to add more protein to your diet without having to consume a ton of protein or meat. And I don't know about other countries, but Canada's meat prices have gone through the roof in the last yes. two years. And if you're someone who's looking for alternative ways, I know a lot of people are becoming vegan and vegetarian right now. If you're looking for a meat-free way to add more protein, protein powder is really good. It's also super tasty. And what I love about the protein powder is when Kyle and I are dieting, we still wanna give ourselves treats because we've lost 130 pounds each and we've kept it off for seven years. By keeping treats in is how we stay on track and how we've kept the weight off for so long. Protein powder is amazing because when you're baking with it, you can replace some of the flour with protein powder. It lowers the calories so that you can still enjoy your baked goods and your treats, but with way less calories. And what's really cool is Greg's coming out with the casein protein mix. Yes. And we're gonna order some very soon. And actually, we just baked, if you guys wanna check out our protein brownie recipe that we just put up um, the other day, we baked with this vegan protein and it bakes amazing. Greg did say he formulated the vegan protein for baking and it bakes like that. So if you want the protein, the link is down below for that. And if you guys wanna know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we do have two weight loss guides. The links are also down below. And we have a brand new guilt-free cookbook. So if you like those protein brownies in that last video we put up, we've got a ton of low calorie versions of all your favorite foods in our brand new guilt-free cookbook. It's, you get the taste, but Without the guilt and extra calories, the link is down there too for that if you want it. And also, be a magician if you want and turn that paper plaque into a real one for passing 100,000 subscribers. And now, let's get down to business and lawnmower out. That was a weird lawnmower. And we're gonna shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, sock and hop, sock, hop. I wonder why you don't have 100,000 subscribers with those kind of moves. Well, once they see this song, <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna be magicianing all day. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Watch this. Pretty good. I lost my rhythm there for a minute. I don't think you ever had it, but. All right, the friends, I love you. Thanks for watching this video. I'll check you out in the next one. <laughs> love ya. <laughs> see you guys. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bite through it. You